I pushed forward on her hood. Then she reverses, turns her wheel to the right, and hits her down, completely runs her over, and then comes and hits me again, gets me pinned between both cars. A woman's jealous rage over a man may be what fueled her to get behind the wheel of her car and allegedly run over two women. The 23-year-old Dearborn Heights woman is now locked up facing multiple charges, including attempted murder. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on 7 Action News at 5. I'm Joanne Purton. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Dearborn Heights tonight. Kim, one of the women's injuries were more severe than the other, right? That's right, Dave. 23-year-old Hanan Ashkar is in critical condition at a nearby hospital. And today we spoke to her friend Nancy, who was also hit. She looked like a demon in her car when she was screaming and hitting the steering wheel. She's talking about the moment before 23-year-old Natalie Hassan allegedly revved the engine of her silver Malibu and then rammed into her not once but twice. Nancy Farage was standing next to her friend Hanan Oscar when it happened. Hanan is now in critical condition. The first time she wasn't going that fast. The impact wasn't that hard. The second time she came at us full speed. That's how her on smacked the ground so far, and then she just completely ran over her. Natalie Hassan is now facing multiple charges, including assault with intent to murder. And according to court papers, it may stem from Natalie being jealous that Nancy and Hanan are friends with her ex. Then one day last week in this Dearborn Heights neighborhood, Natalie and Hanan were fighting, and witnesses say Natalie pulled Hanan's headscarf off. There was two guys there trying to break them up, and then as soon as I went there, they finally broke him up because Natalie wouldn't let go. Then finally separated, witnesses say Natalie got into her car and started revving the engine, screaming that she was going to kill them and then came right for them. She hit my knees, which I still have bruises right here, and I pushed forward on her hood. Then she reverses, turns her wheel to the right, then hits her down, completely runs her over, and then comes and hits me again, gets me pinned between both cars. And then once she pulled off, I fell straight to the floor and smacked my head on the floor. Natalie took off in the Malibu, but Dearborn Heights police tracked her down and arrested her. Nancy was left with injuries to her legs and back, but Hanan suffered severe trauma to her head. It was torture. I tried waking her up. I didn't know. We're all sitting there waking her up. If I would have knew, I would have put pressure on her head. I mean, I don't know what to do when it comes to, like, head stuff. The neighbor's trying to give her CPR. And Hanan, again, is in critical condition at a, near, at a nearby hospital, excuse me. And Natalie Hassan has been moved to the Wayne County Jail, where she's being held on a quarter-million-dollar bond. Reporting live in Dearborn Heights, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. Dave, back to you. Vehicles uh, can be weapons, and in this case, uh, certainly appears to be that, Kim. Yeah, exactly. It appears to be the vehicle at this point. Again, um, it's just it's so unfortunate. And again, Hanan is in critical condition. Back to you. Kimberly, thank you. Kimberly Craig reporting live tonight. We have some more details now on this case. Natalie Hassan is 23 years old. She is no stranger to police. State records show she has several past convictions, including one for unarmed robbery.